the great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus, In me ye may have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. It works two ways. With what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. Matthew 7 verse 2 Saul could not but feel that his son was preferred before him, both by the people and by the Lord. Jonathan's deliverance was a severe reproof to the king's rashness. He felt a presentment that his curses would return upon his own head. He did not longer continue the war with the Philistines, but returned to his own home, moody and dissatisfied. Those who are most ready to excuse or justify themselves in sin are often most severe in judging and condemning others. Many, like Saul, bring upon themselves the displeasure of God, but they reject counsel and despise reproof. Even when convinced that the Lord is not with them, they refuse to see in themselves the cause of their trouble. They cherish a proud, boastful spirit. While they indulge in cruel judgment or severe rebuke of others who are better than they. Often, those who are seeking to exalt themselves are brought into positions where their true character is revealed. So it was in the case of Saul. His own course convinced the people that kingly honour and authority were dearer to him than justice, mercy or benevolence. Thus, the people were led to see their error in rejecting the government that God had given them. They had exchanged the pious prophet whose prayers had brought down blessings for a king who in his blind zeal had prayed for a curse upon them. Had not the men of Israel interposed to save the life of Jonathan, their deliverer would have perished by the king's decree. With what misgivings must the people afterward have followed Saul's guidance? How bitter the thought that he had been placed upon the throne by their own act. The Lord bears long with the waywardness of men, and to all he grants opportunity to see and forsake their sins. But while he may seem to prosper those who disregard his will and despise his warnings, he will, in his own time, surely make manifest their folly.